What up? So, do you like AOE? Do you like fire? Do you like standing in your AOE fire with taking not nearly as much damage as you should? Uh, and wrecking shop while exploding everything around you? Well, have I got the build for you. I've been having a lot of fun with this. Uh, something I slept together here. I uh, just want to go ahead and show it off. Um, I already made a video, but I forgot to go over the traits. So, making another one. Here we go. Fuck <laughs> me. Okay, so. There's a few things about this build. Uh, that we incorporate. You don't have to incorporate melee, but you can. Charge back. Switch weapons. Switch back. AOE. Standing in your fire. And use your heart. There we go. Good. Switch back. Heart. And amazing. As you can see. Yeah. Disgusting. Severely disgusting. <laughs> I call it the Blast King. How do you like it, boys? Okay, so. Okay. Let's run it down. Hey, hey, hey. Calm yourself. Calm. Calm <laughs> oh, I love this shit. Okay. Having a lot of fun with this build, like I said. So, we're gonna start. <sighs> Here. Check this out. 92% fire resistance. Now, how do we achieve 92% fire resistance? This is key. Because a fire tornado usually kills you in two ticks so first off we've got the crown of the red prince and then we're using the bruiser set because as far as i can tell the bruiser set has the highest fire uh, resistance all the rest of this is zeros just double check live yeah see it's all zeros ones there's well there's a couple fives in there um so, got that going. We're running Medic with the Wellspring. Ritualist with Miasma, as you can see. We're doing this just for funsies and to add a little bit more burning. You could really probably make this anything. Uh, but since it is the AoE King, uh, yeah, you could actually, you could run this to... I should do some testing with this. I might. But you could run this... I think either one of these would be fine. You proc the burn on them and hit it with this. Just takes all that burn damage away or you proc it. It's beautiful. Alright, I digress. So, heart. We're using the exploding heart. Tormenting heart. Tormented. This is one of the hardest hearts to get. Uh, simply because you have to have a good roll. You have to have the Seeker's Pin in the Rude. Uh, the Override Pin, which is the Seeker's Quest. And you have to take it into... Blossom into the Night Weaver's realm uh, to put in the web, and that's how you get this heart. So, not exactly easy, but endure and you shall get it. Alright, now, we've got Detonation Trigger. We have Detonation Trigger to proc um, Burn from our Tormented Heart, and then also we have Kill Switch on our Meridian, to proc a burn from when we switch weapons. The switch weapons are gonna do about 1200 damage. Then it's gonna burn. This will kill everyone around you, uh, on Survivor at least. And you get a second cooldown for any every enemy it kills. So that's pretty cool. It's really nice. Um, Smolder, like I said. I'm running Smolder with Stormbringer just to bring down the DR from the status. It's going to bring down the enemy's DR per burn. So you do a lot more burn damage. Then, of course, Sparkfire with the fire. 
uh, an eight damage. Firestorm, twisting wounds. Twi uh, can't speak right now. Sorry, guys. Twisting wounds for the bleed damage. It's actually not for the bleed damage. It's to make them bleed and then get the twenty percent extra damage because they're bleeding. Um, so this is. You could also. You could also run Maelstrom. Uh, if you don't have. If you if you don't have twisting wounds from the pig event, <laughs> you can run Maelstrom. This is also a good alternative um, if you want to boost up your mod damage, Harmonizer or Failsafe to have a chance to not use it. Also boost your mod damage. Any any one of these is fine. Um, the most important thing is the kill switch on your secondary. By the way. Don't use kill switch with your, uh, on a shotgun or any pellet weapon because it nerfs the damage. For some reason, the damage doesn't work properly. I saw that on a video. I can't remember whose video I saw it on, but credit goes to them. You know who you are, I guess. Um, you're a bigger YouTuber than I am. <laughs> anyway, back to rings. Burden of the Destroyer, we're running this because we're not using our firearms that much we're relying on other damage so we're buffing all that damage by 15 percent then since everything's going to be on fire we're buffing the damage to everything on fire by 10 percent then we're using this to get our mods back like that you don't need this but if you want to spam fire tornado uh like on a boss or if you want to if you want to continuously spam your meridian mod or whatever you have on your secondary for your mod you need this but other than that you could probably switch this out with other stuff to be honest you, this is interchangeable um honestly i would say you could switch this too but the fire is going to kill you a lot faster i tried it without this extra 25 and it definitely kills you a lot faster um on my heart i've got skill duration healing effectiveness and elemental resistance for the elemental resistance obviously skill duration for the extra healing and for the <clears throat> well it's really for the extra healing and the healing effectiveness because you don't heal unless your explosion from your heart actually hits people so this is the only way that I have to heal I don't have siphoning I don't have um, what you want to call it well, let's just go to the traits all right See, I don't have regrowth, and I don't have siphon. I basically am going for being able to have my dodge window because I'm a little heavy, and I I should probably put some of strong back. I just can't find the points. Honestly, I think this is the best way. Fortify to make me tankier. We're going expertise to get my skills back faster. Vigor to make me tankier. Untouchable mixed with fitness. Nine points to make make it so I can dodge better. Glutton, you have to have this for your relic. You just have to. Uh, you don't want to get caught using your relic. Because your relic is, one, it's going to be part of your damaging kit and two you have to damage fast in order to get um get your health back and counteract the fire and it, it just is what it is right bark skin for the uh dr amplitude for the aoe of your explosions your fire tornado and your miasma of course shade skin you have to have shade skin i'd say glutton and shade skin you have to have um, expertise have to have you don't have to have untouchable you don't have to have fitness if you want to go ahead and put it into say I don't know you have to have amplitude too for your explosion if you want to go ahead and put it in a strong back and endurance maybe a little bit in a regrowth those are all options but you can see these are my traits. <sighs> All right, I know that was long-winded, and I'm sorry. The first video was actually a lot better. Uh, 
I'm getting bad at this. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, this is a really, really fun build. And uh, I guarantee if you don't kill yourself, it's not fun for anyone else that's in your party. But it's definitely fun for you. And if uh, you like AoE and you like fire, like I said, and you like exploding things and people and stuff, you know, this is, this is the build for you. Ooh, almost died there. <laughs> that was close. All right, guys. Oh, Ooga Booga. You got, you got Luda. Yeah. Ooga. That chant is fucking sick. I don't know what the fuck he says, but I just gibberish. All right, guys. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll catch you next time for the next build and uh, have fun. I'll let your boy. That's a hello, but yeah, you get it. Later.